Hi everyone, this is Nadia, award-winning author, mentor, class and twin psychic and founder of Spot Night. Now, wealth consciousness is a topic that a lot of people usually come and ask me on and I mentor a lot of my clients around that and we sell products and services in Spot Night that really help you increase your financial DNA rewiring and also help you vibrate on a financial level. And I had a question that somebody asked me not too long ago in reference to cash flow. Now, as a lot of you know that I work with King Connick, which is um, the spirit of wealth value merchant finance. And a lot of people I see, especially entrepreneurs and people trying to like make it maybe on like a corporate level or a professional level, they are usually very fixated on the amount that's coming in. So let's say, for instance, you have a specific goal of maybe you want to make 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month, and so on and so forth, maybe less, maybe more. Everybody has their own perspective of what they want to make or what they feel their capacity of wealth or money is to hold. Now, one thing that Clonic really talked to me about is flow. Now, from an occult perspective, money is liquid. There's a reason that um, there are terms like liquidifying assets, banks, branches. I mean, I won't go into everything, but you know, money is masculine energy and currency is feminine energy. And it's very fascinating to look at how people approach money in a very warped and twisted way and don't understand the etymological connotations of it. Now, etymology is basically understanding um, the core of a word or the vibration of a word. Now, each word has its own vibration or each letter, so to speak. Now, I remember studying um, Arabic magic a very long time ago, and each letter in Arabic um, can speak, so to, so to speak, as the funny goes. And I'm bringing this up because a lot of people don't understand that money has its own frequency. It is energy. Like if you have an elevated sense of energy and you're vibrating at a faster and higher level, money is going to be able to find you because it likes speed. Now, money likes speed, not in a sense where you need to move really quickly and really fast and manic and you're filled with anxiety. I'm not talking about that. That's not healthy for your body. You have to have respect for your body in it. Now, Klonik usually talks about things like um, occult, occult money and deal flow, or cash flow, that type of stuff. Now, what happens is that most people fixate on the number. So they're so fixated on, say, for instance, for argument's sake, 10,000 a month, okay? Whether it's 10,000 dollars, 10,000 euros, 10,000 Canadian, Australian dollars, pounds, whatever currency that you feel comfortable to work in. Let's keep that as a barometer. It's not particularly about making, like, say, for instance, two sales of five grand each or four sales or six sales or whatever it is. It's about having the flow of money that keeps coming in. And a lot of people I've found that can make big ticket sales or high ticket sales. <clears throat> I had someone come to me for a consultation and she said, you know what? I took 15 grand in one sale and I said, the congratulations, that's wonderful. But she kind of still felt like there was something missing. Like her, her goal was to hit like 12 grand every month. So she had taken three over that. But there was something that she felt that was still missing. She wasn't happy. And she asked me and she said, look, man, tune into my business and tune into me and find out what's going on. And psychically, I could see that it was the lack of flow that really irritated her because on a very deep subconscious level, she didn't really believe that she could replicate those 15,000 days or months or whatever it is that were coming in. And it kind of made her feel stagnant. Now, a lot of people are used to a life and a world where you're paid once a month in employment or perhaps you're paid weekly or perhaps you are paid um, by, by monthly, like twice a month, right? So there becomes this holding pattern where you have to wait for money and the waiting alone is now becomes a money block. So what I usually say to people and my work is very entrepreneurial based, but I think everybody can take wisdom from it is look to make sales every day. Now, look to prospect every day. There is going to be ebbs and flows. There are going to be days you don't feel like prospecting. That's fine. Listen to your intuition. 
But Kalonic usually talks about flow, and the lack of flow is what kills businesses. Let me explain. Now, because we've already established that money is liquid, and imagine a tap opening, right? And there's money that's flowing out of this tap, or water, rather. Money, water, same thing for this instance. And it's a tiny trickle. You're not seeing much, but the money, you know, the water is flowing. You can have small sales, but the money is flowing. What that's going to do on a frequency level is like money has an energetic battery. The money is masculine, the, fe the, the, the currency is feminine. And there are positive and negative poles. That doesn't mean that men are positive or women are negative. That's not my point I'm trying to make. But traditionally in frequency perspective and from a, a, a quantum, quantum wealth perspective, um, there's the positive aspect and the negative aspect and that energy needs to loop and flow. It's like having sex with someone. When a man and woman engage in sex, it's like that battery that needs to replenish. This is the reason so many people are drained. And that's another um, factor that I will be tying into when I do a lot of um, occult wealth classes online on YouTube. And what Klonik really stresses on is the, the lack of flow. Now, if there is that trickle that's coming out of the tap, what's going to happen is you can just turn that dial up on the tap and you'll start to see, you know, the, the force of the water come out more. It's going to be very hard to fill up a cup, a bucket, a bowl, whatever container that you have, if you don't even have the trickle to begin with. Which is why it's very important in a business, first of all, to start off with, not to just have one product or one service, because that is where the danger comes. You see, the marketplace is ever changing and things can dry up very quickly. Your clients, what they responded to five months ago may not respond to today. So if you have a business, look to diversify your products and your services, but make sure it's all vertical marketing, which means one thing leads to the other, leads to the other, leads to the other, leads to the other. A lot of people try and do different things and they wonder why they're going nowhere. If you have an amalgamation of businesses, look to take an X amount of money and put it into an investment where either it's fungible, something like... Um, uh, precious metals things like that or you can do real estate or property uh, investing in those areas and remember the flow has to be consistent it don't bank on this is the money that you need to make a month and that's it call it a day i'm not saying that you don't have expenses or you don't have things that you need to think about a profit the most important thing is the flow because remember when you get into the flow of money when it comes to your business you will start to see things open up for people who are in employment and watching this, the most important type of flow I can say is hold on to your job. That's probably the only thing between you and sitting on the street, and that's a pretty good thing. Okay, so have have reverence, even if you hate your job and you're just like, oh, I hate this place, I don't want to work here. Uh, be grateful that you have one. Let's start with that. And take a portion out of that. It can be creaming off X amount every month and saying, all right, I want to do something for myself. It can be not particularly starting a business with it, but learning the knowledge of it. Because in order to receive cash flow, to have deal flow and to have things move in, in flow, in alignment, that means there's a, a, a continuity and there's a loop. Just like I said, the positive and negative elements of that battery need to move. The exact same thing is essentially with giving and receiving. If you give too much, you're gonna feel drained. If you receive too much, that's also being selfish. So you need to have that continuum and that loop that keeps going. And when Kalanik has usually mentored people through me or he has taught me um, wealth consciousness, true wealth consciousness is not particularly about the amount of money you're receiving, but the consistent flow of money that's coming in. Because just like we're going back to that 15,000 um, ex uh, experiment that I did with the client or the example, you can fill up that whole bowl of water and then you think, and then this panic that's going to set in and think, oh my God, when I run through all of this, am I going to be able to replicate again? As opposed to with whatever number that's coming in, you can just keep bringing it in and then you learn to turn up the dial slowly. And the way Klonik works with wealth, if you choose to work with him and you just take his uh, wealth consciousness mentoring, is more things move slowly. Yes, money does love speed, but the understanding of money, the understanding of the wealth circuits and how they really move and 
really having the alignment with having a healthy relationship with money over the words you speak because there are a lot of people that want to be in possession of something however the words are not reflecting that possession and it's they're struggling with that perspective because it's more just i want to make this much amount of money and i want to do this and it's, it's always like a very grabby needy graspy feeling as opposed to allow things to flow you know money is is very similar to the energy of a river it, it moves slow it's over time it has a lot of influence and you don't particularly need to go with a container to the river all you need to do is maybe dig up a ditch and just allow that energy that flow to come towards you and have more of a peaceful relationship because if you try and rush through things you want to sign deals you want to bring in things and you get aggressive about things aggressive may get you your end goal but i can guarantee you it's going to put off a lot of people from you so do it in a in a place that's with grace and dignity man or woman watching this but just be mindful that the flow that's coming in if you can sit and really al analyze the intelligence of water and connect that to money meditate on it think about it you will be shown a very healthy way to deal with money and have a healthy cash flow come in as opposed to don't focus on the amount because the focus on on the amount is still a level of lack consciousness if only i have this much i will feel this as opposed to just allowing the flow to keep coming in which is true abundance because abundance is it's like opening the fridge and saying oh man wow i'm so grateful i have so much to eat as opposed to oh my god i need to restock the fridge because and you could kind of go into that mode and Make no mistake, when I talk, or, or rather Clonic talks about cash flow, deal flow, there's a lot of people who make a lot of money who still operate from lack consciousness. The reason they are doing so much is to compensate for the low self-worth inside. And the idea to build up that inner money bank inside is by the time you arrive at that money, the money is not the destiny. The money, I would say, is not the destination and it's not a goal. It is a means, it is a vehicle for you to get to a point where you are absolved of the worry every day of how am I going to get to that point of survival? Because remember, cash flow, deal flow, you cannot move into a state of wealth if you are still stuck in survival. So I hope that covers that. And that's a short segment from Clonic and I will be doing more channels on that. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a good day ahead. Take care. Bye.